dear students uh, welcome to the today's chemistry class so we are discussing some basic concepts in chemistry so this is the first chapter so in the first we you see chemistry part 1 test 2 so in the previous classes uh, we discussed classification of matter nature of matter states of matter so now let us discuss so today measurement measurement of physical properties physical properties so we discussed properties of matter so that there are physical properties and also chemical properties of matter so now let us discuss measurement of physical properties is see here quantitative measurement of properties of matter is required for scientific investigation enella nam matter anta tagutive aa pratiyondu matter na physical properties measure maadbeku the data the data of measurement of physical properties of matter is required for further scientific investigation yavude one matter na nau tagondaga aa matter mele scientific agi investigation maadbeku antandre adar physical properties first na nau measure maadbeku so that is why really measurement of physical properties of matter is required for further scientific investigation certain certain physical properties of matter such as length length area volume or quantitative in nature so length area volume are the physical properties of matter which are quantitative in nature they are to be measured ಈಗ ವಾಲ್ಯೂಮ್ ಅಂದರೆ ವಾಲ್ಯೂಮ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಕ್ಯೂಬಿಕ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಅಥವಾ ಸೆಂಟಿಮೀಟರ್ ಅಥವಾ ಎಮ್ ಎಲ್ ಅಂತ ಮೆಷರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಏರಿಯಾಕ್ನ ಲೆಂತಲ್ಲಿ ಮೀಟರ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಸೆಂಟಿಮೀಟರ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಇಂಚಸ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಮೆಷರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಕೂಡ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಸೊ ಮೀಟರ್ ಸೆಂಟಿಮೀಟರ್ ಸೊ ಇಂಚಸ್ ಎಟ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲೇ ದ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟೇಟಿವ್ ಮೆಷರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಈಸ್ required for further scientific calculations so across the world across the world in the olden days there were two systems there were there are two systems to be used for the measurement of physical properties of a matter yen avu yavya systems use martta idro earlier days alli across the world so andre prapanchadaadyanta ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ಸ್ನ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಈ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟೀಸ್ನ ಮೆಷರ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಏನಪ್ಪ ಆ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟೀಸ್ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಆ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ಸ್ ಯಾವುದಪ್ಪ ಅಂದರೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒಂದು ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಮೆಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ so to measure the quantitative so properties of uh, matter across the world english system english system and uh, metric system were used worldwide and also metric system was the most convenient system of measuring uh, the properties of matter ee erdu systems alli english system and metric system metric system annodu most convenient system agittu elli across the world wide to measure the properties of a matter so this metric system was established in france france first originate agittu first ella pa metric system na use madidru andre france alli so later later days later days in addition to this english system and metric system standard system was originated was established to measure 
the quantitative so measurement of the properties of the matter so quantitative quantitative measurement of the proper physical properties of matter standard system of was established after the 1960 after the year 1960 1960 ad mele standard system na standard system of measurement of physical properties of matter was introduced yena pada standard system antre that standard system of measurement is called as the international 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 system international system of units international system of units commonly known as si system si system pretty english system and metric system are made to across the world si system was standardized for the measurement of physical properties of matter so this si system this si system established in paris paris of france Paris of France. So SI system, international system of unit. It is a standard system of measurement of properties of matter. So this system was established. So at Paris of France. In the eleventh, in the eleventh, in the eleventh general conference. In the eleventh general. conference on weights and measures weights and measures weights and measures this si system was introduced at paris of france paris and france are in one place of paris alli one 11th general conference na ಆರ್ಗನೈಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಯಾವುದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ವೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಲೆವೆಂತ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ವೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆಷರ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನೋದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ಒಂದು ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸ್ನ ಅರೇಂಜ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಥವಾ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೈಂಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಓವರ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಅರೈಸ್ಡ್ their questions to introduce one new system or standard system for the measurement of physical properties of matter in that organization in that conference so they introduced one si system standard so a system of measurement that is a si system si is international system of this yes i yes i and it was derived from the french language french language in french language le system a le system a international international d units ಫ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಲಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಎ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಎ ಇಂಟರ್ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಡಿ ಯುನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಟ್ ಫ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಯುನಿಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ವಾಸ್ ಹಿ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಶ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ಆರಿಜಿನೇಟೆಡ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೆವೆಂತ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಹೇಳ್ ಆ ವೇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೆಷರ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ all chemists or scientists identified seven basic physical quantities and for those seven basic physical quantities they gave the si units using those seven basic physical quantities and their 
yes i unit sir some other physical quantities are derived let us discuss what are those seven base physical quantities and their yes i units here first carbon base seven red line seven basic physical seven basic physical quantities quantities and they and they and they yes i units So in that eleventh uh, general uh, conference on uh, weights and measures, uh, the scientists or chemists uh, across uh, the world wide uh, identify certain basic physical quantities uh, with their uh, yes or units. Let us uh, uh, write certain basic uh, physical quantities with their yes or units. So the first column is base, base physical quantity. base physical quantity and second column is symbol symbol for physical quantity symbol for physical quantity third column name of name of the si unit name of the si unit fourth column symbol symbol for si unit symbol for si unit so this is the tabular column for seven basic physical quantities So the first uh, base physical quantity is uh, length. Length. Symbol for base physical quantity that is length is uh, small y. Small y. Name of uh, yes a unit of length uh, is meter. Meter. Symbol for yes a unit. Second, basic physical quantity is mass. Symbol for basic physical quantity is yam, small yam. Yes, I unit of mass is kilogram. 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 Kg. Symbol of kilogram is kg. And third basic physical quantity is time. Time. Symbol for physical quantity is small t. Name of the size of for time is second. Second. The size of time is second. Yes, the symbol. Fourth one is electric current. Electric current. Electric current. Symbol for electric current is capital I. Name of the SI unit is ampere. Ampere is the SI unit of electric current. Symbol. is capital a fifth one temperature is also called as thermodynamic temperature thermodynamic temperature thermodynamic temperature so thermodynamic temperature is the fifth physical quantity of uh, basic The SI unit of temperature is Kelvin. K 
can be represented by delta k. Sixth one is amount of substance. Amount of substance. Amount of substance. So that is represented by the symbol m, small m. Yes, I mean now amount of substance is more M O N E. Symbol for assignment is M O N. M O N. And seventh one is seventh basic physical quantity is a luminous intensity. Luminous intensity. Luminous intensity. Represented by IV. Yes, I will have luminous intensity is candela. Symbol is CD. So, length, mass, time, electric current, thermodynamic temperature, amount of substance, luminous intensity. So, these are the seven basic physical quantities which are identified by the SI system with their SI units. Using the seven basic physical quantities, other physical quantities are derived. Use seven basic physical quantities. These seven basic physical quantities use mod photo. Use SI units use mod photo. Bare physical quantities, SI units are derived. So other other physical quantities, SI units are derived from these seven basic physical quantities. Other basic physical quantities are the law, let us take, say take volume. Volume is not a basic physical quantity, it is a derived quantity. Yeah, it is a volume of the no. It is a length cube. Length cube. Yes, I don't know how it is. Cubic meter. Yeah, the cubic meter, the length is the basic physical quantity. It's a say it is a meter. So meter cube. Cubic meter, meter cube. They say it's a volume. I rather volume of the length in the birthday. Volume is yes, a unit. Is derived from yes, I end up length, but yes, I end is basic physical quantity. One derived quantity. Similarly, density. Density is a derived physical quantity, not a basic physical quantity. Okay, density is defined as mass per unit volume. Mass per unit volume. Mass. Mass is the basic physical quantity. Volume derived quantity. So, mass by volume, mass of kg, and the volume of cubic meter. So, kg per cubic meter, in the other word, minus. So, kg per cubic meter is the density SI unit, where the density is the derived name. So, totally we have seven, seven basic physical quantities with the SI units. Using those seven physical quantities, basic physical quantities and their SI units, the SI units of other physical quantities can be derived. They are called as derived quantities. 